All right, guys, welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I have a long and storied history with this franchise. Assassin's Creed 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Brotherhood isn't far behind it, honestly. And uh, I really love the, the games with Ezio. I love Syndicate. And then it kind of went in this different RPG direction. And I actually did a video about it where I didn't really like the direction Assassin's Creed was going. I did enjoy Origins um, for what it was, but I did not enjoy Odyssey at all. I tried to get into it and I just couldn't. And I was saying it's the death of the Assassin's Assassin's Creed franchise, but here I am with Valhalla. Uh, I haven't been major. I wasn't majorly impressed with what I saw at first from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but the more it's gone on and the more I've seen, it looks like they've massively improved the way this game looks and the way it plays. So I'm going to give it a bash. Um, if you guys want to see a full series on it, please do drop a like. Shout out to Ubisoft for giving me a review code. Um, I'm actually using this Watch Dogs Legion controller they sent me uh, with the. They sent me a Watch Dogs Legion pack uh, there about a week ago. But yeah, we're we're talking about Assassin's Creed today, not Watch Dogs. I'm playing on the Xbox One, but I will be upgrading to the Xbox Series X hopefully three days after this video goes live. So I don't know whether I'm going to just do a part one here on the Xbox One and then uh, from part two onwards maybe or maybe part four or five onwards I'll be playing on the Series X. I'll let you know when I switch over at least anyway. Um, if you'd like me to hold off until the Series X version um, for a part two, then do let me know that in the comments as well. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's, let's just jump on into the game. I'm excited. Um, I'm really into Norse mythology. I was born in Norway myself, uh, so technically I'm pretty much already a Viking. No, I'm just kidding, but we're exploration difficulty. Uh, I'll play on the default explorer. Combat difficulty, Viking. -r Viking. -r Berserker. I'll go with the with the default ones here, um, just for de uh, for difficulty. I'm not going to change it up too much, really. And we'll start off Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm excited. Make sure to drop a like if this could hit a 250 likes. This is the first video I'm ever recording in full 4K 60 FPS as well. So let me know if you notice a difference and I can do this for the full series. Especially with the new consoles coming out now. I feel like it's a game changer. Silence, you children of gods. Sorry. And heed my tale of time's beginning. Good boy, Loki. My dog, Norse mythology. Loki. All was dark. There was no sand, there was no sea, no earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Good boy, Loki. So yeah, let's aim for 250 likes, guys. I'm excited to get into it now that I have it in my hands and stuff, you know? It's a new game. Cyberpunk is delayed, so um, it left an opportune moment for a game like Assassin's Creed. They're probably licking their lips that Cyberpunk got delayed. There you are. Young Ivo. I don't think I got to choose, like, the male or female version yet, but I'm definitely a male, or... Wait, are they saying, like, this could be either gender? I don't think so. It's definitely a boy. It looks like goddamn, uh, it looks like uh, Atreus from God of War, honestly, a little bit. But, um, yeah, I'm playing on on uh, my 4K monitor now with the 4K pass-through, so it does make a big difference, to be fair. Like, I can notice the, the colorings and stuff like that. Okay, I, I think we just gotta head out. There's nothing we can actually do in here. It looks quite dark, though, um, so I'm gonna turn the brightness up a little bit. All right, that should be a little better, hopefully, for you guys. Let's go out. Eivor, here's a tune for you. Want to dive in your step? Let's hear it. Hopefully, the Viking music isn't copyrighted. This is cool, though. Go. So, you 
see our king. Yes, good. Come, Eivor. Uh, Eivor, is that how you pronounce it? Eivor? The ring. Yes. Now, now for our little plan. You see us talking. Quiet as a wood mouse. And surprise him with our gift. You hold it out. Like this. You look him in the eyes and you say, Steer beyond the king. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. Okay. Friendship and love. Cut. Tonight, you will be the court and unite our people. I'm so proud of you. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. Let's dance, baby. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. <laughs> Let's go, son. You got them moves. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Eivor. <laughs> Kind of reminds me a little bit of, of The Witcher, and it seems like that's maybe what they're going for. Oh, no drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I, I have accepted you for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy longships. Give it here, I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Yeah, I think they're probably going for this child could be either gender right now. That's because the voice and everything, you know. Play, wait, what can we play? What can we play? Is this called play? Great, that that's so much fun. <laughs> wow, I had a blast there, guys. Can I get through here, boys? No? Can't, I can't get through? I gotta speak to this guy, maybe? Let me through, sir. When you speak with the king... Hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? Damn, you won that she easy. Agrees. Okay, Gunner. But yeah, it reminds me of the, that place in The Witcher. What's it called again? Where you're out in the islands. Yeah, we're supposed to go around, that's why I couldn't go through that way. What's up, boys? It's Aloy! So funny. So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your Rosta. In a battle on the northern way. Mother? Yes. This is our mother, okay. The That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. Something absolutely awful is about to happen, isn't it? Now go. You have a gift to deliver. Graphics wise, honestly, I I'm not too impressed. Just being like blatantly honest, it, it's not that great. But I mean, I am playing on the original Xbox One. Well, the Xbox One S. Maybe it look better on the Series X. Able. I would hope so. Skull to Sturgeon, the true king of Burgafolga. Tonight we are all made a new skull. Hey. Remember what to say. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. <sighs> An ocean steed Something terrible is about to happen real soon. Like, maybe right now. O 
Wolven's mead our fourth will bring. For noble deeds that honor sing. The brave men slain, Valkyrie awaits. Rewards for strain to our huddle takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. Yes, sir. This is what I'm saying. Ready yourself, men. Go. Not you, Ava. Not just yet. This is probably just normal for them, though, having a battle like this. But losing it probably isn't normal, and that's what's about to happen, isn't it? We're gonna go anyway, huh? Is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Oh, whoa, whoa! Let's go, Rasta! Why would she not just come with me? Uh, she gotta save someone, okay. You stupid kid. Can't even lift the sword, kid, come on. What do you think you're gonna do? Well, that works. Nice! Sigurd is badass! This kid, man! <laughs> this kid's trying to die. No! No! Now it's my turn to offer you to Accept your fate, die a coward here before your people, and I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. I don't believe him. No, Baron. No, Aaron. Pick up your axe! I don't believe him for a second either. See, like, how did I just know that? Like, such horseshit. <laughs> Me and Sigurd. Yeah! Oh, shit! Uh oh. I hope Sigurd survives, though. He seems cool. We at least know someone from the beginning in the game, then. The horse is still... No! Come on, is that necessary, bro? Wolves. Sigurd! We need you! I was... Wait a second, <laughs> what?
The Animus. I'm seeing two different data streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. Yeah, so I probably should have checked, like, what happened in Odyssey. I didn't keep up to date with that at all because there is the outside the world Animus stuff, of course. So I probably should have maybe looked up a little recap of that shit, but maybe I'll do it after this video. Uh, we're going to play as the male Ivor. Um, All right, I'll male Viking seems more fitting. To a time where these streams are more synchronized. Plus, I'm male, so makes sense for me. Uh, let's do this. I don't know which is canon or anything like that. I have this massive spot on my nose, which looks really stupid, by the way, guys. Apologies for that. <laughs> Ooh, looks kind of nice. How long have you been chasing hey, Lord. Me? Kissed. Seventeen winters. Eighteen. Do I now haunt your dreams? This is the guy that killed our parents. Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Oh, your father sags. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew, make them suffer. Look at the size of this man's Maybe arms, by the way. Is no more. That name is dead to this world. You will be worth your weight in silver. Pull the ship. All right, we're going to be a slave. We're obviously going to escape. You move. And I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? Oh, fuck. Okay. He ain't no joke. Ivor. Avor. I'm gonna continuously say his name wrong. No feast for you, Sunan. My crew is in danger. You must be my eyes. Okay, we have the, the Raven or whatever. Norway. The country I was born, my friends. My home country. Norgepatop. My crew is in danger. I need to reach them. Okay. Nothing in there. Oh. An empty box and some silver. Yeah. All right, we're going to try and get the uh, the sink point. I always love these in the Assassin's Creed games, man. The sink points are always so badass. Odin Sight. Okay. Basically, um, same as all the other games. Cloud berries. Do they give us health a little bit? Yep. Okay. Ooh, we can eat some uh, some food. Fill us up. Stronger. Oh, it creates rations. Okay, and they can be used at a later time. That's handy. Okay, the game's looking better now that we're out into the open world. Actually, surprisingly, like it, it, at the start in that little tent with the with the people, it didn't look as good. It looks better now for sure. Whoosh. 
Whoosh! Anything? No. Okay. Let's go. I wonder what the climbing is like in this game. Rations are full. Okay. Is there a photo mode, I wonder? Yep, there is. Okay. Just wanted to have a quick look at the photo mode. Switch to edit mode. Alright. How do I go down? There we go. Fucking badass, bro. Gotta say. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Eivor, you are a badass, my friend. Is there any way to get rid of... Oh, yeah. Preview. Here we go. Like that. Just for thumbnails and stuff, maybe in the future it could come in handy. But I'll probably nab the thumbnail from a... From a cutscene. For part one. Usually the cutscene thumbnails are obviously the best, because they're the highest quality. Hello, people! Rations are full. Where do we go from here? Okay, hang on. Oh! You can just climb up this shit all willy-nilly. Pretty easy, huh? What's up, boys? There's a stag. A couple of stags there. Beautiful. Raigafjalk. So is that the attack button as well, or B? Yeah, it is. Okay. Square is kind of a, a dodge. I'm talking PlayStation controls just because I'm so used to playing on PlayStation. This is actually the first time I've played my Xbox in like two months to play this game. And the only reason I got an Xbox code because I'm upgrading to the Series X version when I get the Series X next week. Because the PS5 uh, will be coming a little later for me because I'm in Europe. Pathetic old Europe, of course. Oh, so you can just scale surfaces even, the, even if they don't look that climbable, really. Like, look at this. Holy. Hell yeah, baby. Norway's such a beautiful country as well, man. It really is. And here's our first sink on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Beautiful. Stunning. Find and rescue your crew. Suggested power one. Yo, do they have, like, the jumps again? Because I swear they didn't even really have them in Odyssey that much, did they? Maybe they did, I'm just... No, I'm thinking of Ghost of Tsushima, actually. Where I was like, I was always loving to jump off these things boom, into the water. Oh, we can swim in this game. Anything underwater, then? It does not seem so. Let's rescue our damn crew, huh? That's the only uh, mission available to us at the moment. I imagine it opens up quite a bit more after the first couple missions or so. Um, because these games, they do have a lot of side quests, a lot of um, activities that you can do. Odyssey was just a little bit overwhelming for me. Okay, how do I... Okay. I just need to remember the con control scheme. This place is heavily guarded. There we go. Can I take him out stealthy, though? Oh, Jesus, that guy got wrecked. So I can't do like an execution style from behind. I'm guessing we get the... I think you get the hidden blade at some point. So I would imagine that we... Um, that we will be able to assassinate people then. We just don't have it yet. But that guy got absolutely murked. Restricted area. Nothing's off limit for the Viking boys. <laughs> okay, give me that. Got some arrows, was it? And some silver, predator arrows. We don't even have a bow yet, though, do we? Do we? Oh, we do have a bow. What am I talking about? Okay. I didn't even realize that. Awesome. Maybe that's how we'd be stealthy. Anyone else around here? Don't see anyone yet. Okay, the raven's eye. That could be Sorry. handy. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, baby. How far away can we go? Okay, so we are quite a ways away from where we're going, actually. Jesus. Can we get a mount in this game? Horses? Can we ride wolves? 
That would be awesome. I love mounts in video games full stop. For some reason, like World of Warcraft, that was, World of Warcraft, I played a lot of it back in the day, and I used to love getting like the the best mounts in the game, you know? Like getting the wolf mounts. I, I always loved those. And they had the Komodo and shit. Like they, they just had so many different, really cool different types of mounts, like raptors. And I always loved that. Is there anyone in here? Is there a way in here? Hello? Pop us home! So everyone we knew is dead. It's, it's just ourselves now. Ricky Wolf, prepare the child of Varen for the slavers. You may use the others for your blood sacrifice. Okay, so he didn't want us dead. We got ourselves a chest. Leather and iron ore. And I assume gear has a part to play in this game as well. Um, I never got into Odyssey too much, so I wasn't really like into the gear of that. But Origins did have that as well. Will attack on sight. So two of them there? Kind of want to try kill him. What's up, baby? You didn't see that? <laughs> he just doesn't know what happened. What a loser! Oh, why did you get back up? You fool! All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. Good luck, pal. All the best. We'll be seeing you. I got murdered bad. Might be more people down here. Don't see any just yet. We're safe for now. We're only 290 odd meters away now. We'll get the raven out here in a second. Once we get a little bit closer. Okay, I can sprint as well. I, lo I love the little um, bit of music that's playing in the background. It's serenity right now, you know? It's a vibe. There's fighting nearby. Oh, yep, there is. You're correct there, buddy. Who's fighting? And they said Sigurd was likely lost at sea, so... Um, he's presumed dead, but he's, he's not confirmed dead yet. Oh, shit! Old hound, you live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davalt's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. We have a shield now. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to play like the first two hours or so of the game today, I would imagine. Um, or until I... Don't feel like playing no more. Battle for the Northern Way, but I'm enjoying it so far, I gotta say. Find and rescue your crew. A, sh a shield can now be equipped as a secondary weapon in the item inventory. Okay, let's go. There are three main slots for weapons. Each weapon is unique and comes with their own fighting style. Um, okay. Weapons equipped in the main hand will supply your main source of damage and fighting style. Shield can also be equipped in this hand for a more defensive approach. Um, a weapon or shield can be equipped in the secondary hand to offer a supporting fight style. Two-handed weapons will use both weapon slots. Alongside your melee weapons, a long range or a bow is always equipped for long-range attacks. There are three types of bows. Each type uses its own ammo. See the stats page in the inventory to have more details on your current build. Okay, let's equip the shield then. In our secondary hand. Um, and they all have their own stats as well. Attack, speed, block, stun. Okay. Wait, of course. We don't have a helmet right now. None of that stuff. So if I go into my uh, quiver, which... No, sorry, this is where my bow is equipped. We only have one bow at the moment. And so maybe as time goes, we'll find the other types. Okay, so the quest we have. A Viking hero must... Yes, I know this. Throughout your adventures, territories and their quests will be displayed. Tracking quests will update the information shown on the map, compass, and in-game log. A Viking hero must rescue their crew from a mortal enemy. Yes, yes. 
The Codex. Let's have a look. Norway. Factions, bandits. Bandit groups thrived in the 9th century and were found all across the Seven Kingdoms. They were mostly made up of the impoverished, disenfranchised, and the just plain scoundrels who sought to make a living off violence and intimidation. And then, of course, we had the Viking in Old Norse. A Viking was a Norse man or woman who went raiding for gain and glory, both for themselves and their clan. To go a Viking was one of the most ex exhilarating feats of bravery anyone could imagine. Over time, the word Viking became a general term to describe the hordes of Norsemen who raided and settled various parts of Europe between the 8th and 11th centuries. Somewhat less barbaric than their initial depictions, Vikings were in fact part of a larger and more complex social structure as likely to trade with another culture instead of killing them. Love to hear it. Solid fighters able to smash through shields with their bearded axes. However, their undisciplined nature results in a shocking lack of organized tactics. <laughs> and the first region, of course, is Norway, home to a people uh, as beautiful and harsh as the unforgiving land that birthed them. Its frozen fields, majestic mountains, and fathomless fjords are the settings for deep de are the settings rather for deeds desperate and heroic made famous through sagas and song. Not a bad start for a novel, is it? Saving this one for later. Love it. Right, and I think we're ready to go do this thing. And we can use our second secondary weapon like this. If we want to. A little bit more defensive now. We can be, at least. There we go. That's where we need to be. Let us, uh... Cutless warriors crawl through Avil's nest like lice. Send our raven in. Cutless warriors crawl through Avil's nest like lice. If I use the me. Wait, I can't hear you now, buddy. <laughs> he started that sentence twice on both occasions. He just stopped. We need to find a different way in. Can't see anything from up here. That's the main gate, is it? Which one is the main gate and which one is the side gate? I don't really know. Is there a way in without attracting any attention? I wonder, can we get through right here? It looks like this might be possible to jump through. Yes. Okay. Let us be careful. The long house. The crew should be inside. Inside we go then. Is this guy by himself? Think I can kill this guy? Hey, hold on. Shut the fuck up. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing, boy. Right, let us uh Reveal all we can. There's a lot of enemies around here, man. A lot. A lot. We get through here? Maybe. Must be blocked from the side. Okay. And our crew is inside the big building, of course. Oh, wait, we can get through the window, maybe. Ooh. Big chest. Carbon ingot. Okay. We don't need anything else in here anyway, so let's try to get into this big building. There should be an opening in the roof. Okay, we're gonna climb up then. Hopefully nobody sees this. And this could be pretty obvious. Pro climbing though. Feels pretty smooth as well. This is the opening we're looking for, I imagine. Climb down. You squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unless Shut up, Ricky Wolf. Can't see shit right now. Die. I want to make a mess of it, back out. Hey, where is he? They're down at the bottom. You gotta get down there somehow. Hello? Let's uh do a little bit of Odin's uh sight right now. As we go down, is Ricky Wolf the only one in here? That would seem kind of silly. He's in here by himself. It might be a boss fight. That's the whole point of it, I guess. Let's be silent. Oh, no, we can't. Hey! Buddy, leave him alone. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. 
You lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. Ireland? Hey! That's where I am right now, baby! But if you wish Up to the Irish. My first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. That's one thing that kind of made me want to play as well a lot more is because there's, um... There actually is Ireland DLC, which I really, of course, want to do. Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Okay. Shut your hole and fight! We're out of stamina, okay. Sack of shit. I, uh, there's a stamina bar. I didn't even realize that, if I'm being honest. Nice dodge. Can I use my bow mid-go? Stamina is consumed when dodging or missing an attack. Stamina, yeah, I know, I know. Nice, 112 damage with the bow. Put it into his heart. Oh, Jesus, the sensitivity is not so good there, though. Boom! 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 I haven't even taken a hit yet, so we're good. Boom! Rah! 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 What's up, Ricky Wolf? Little bitch? Okay, I can parry as well. I want to try that. I'm blocking, of course. I want to see how useful the block is, but let's try a parry. Oh, like that. Okay. Beautiful. That's a finisher right there. Boom! Oh my goodness! That was a finisher! Let's go! The two hammers on either side of the head! Banging your dead, son! Good luck to you. Hope you had a good life, sir. Christ above. Christ the night that man got absolutely murked. It's weird the way the color on my, this monitor looks different to the color that's coming up on this monitor. This until the bitter end. I wonder is that to do with the HDR or something? Because I'm not recording life. HDR. Will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! What the fuck's going on, man? Let your people out. Wake up, bro, from this nightmare. Wake up, Eivor. Uh oh. Yeah, but like the coloring's way more red on, on my 4K capture card than it is here, which is strange. It's more like yellow on this monitor. Looks so different, actually. Okay, someone's trying to wake us up. Eivor, are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, buddy. I got you. We got a cloak now. Ooh, we got all sorts of armor, actually. That we can put on, which is nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's free the boys. You are a good friend to me. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not yes, sir. To tell us twice. Well, just letting you know just in case, you know? Okay, let's put on the cloak. Badass. Hell yeah, bro. Tunic. Raven Clan armor. The Raven Clan. Here we are, baby. We got a new axe as well. Is it better than the one we have? How do we um, compare it? Okay, so it has 54 attack, uh, 48 speed. A little bit less speed, but more attack power, uh, more stun. Yeah, I think overall it's better, so I'm gonna try Varen's Axe. Why the hell not? Give it a bash. And we got the Raven Clan Bracers. I'm guessing there's gonna be all sorts of different kind of armors as well, which is cool. And the Raven Clan Breachers. And now we're looking like a proper Viking, son. Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's do this thing. Let's take back what is ours with fire and blood. Come on, boys. Oh, a dual weapon attack. Okay, we could we could dual wield the two axes. I'm not gonna do that just yet because I do like having a shield. Ugh, look at that, man! You got wrecked, sir. Boish! Get rid of your shield, pal, and enjoy your death. Sorry, it's the way of the road. Okay, okay, buddy, chill. Oh, what a parry that was! Stun attack! Look at that finisher! Oh my! 
pick back up the axe, though. Oh, that was his own axe. I see. The power aids are beautiful, man. Come on. Boosh. Yeah, how do I lock on again? Like that. Okay. Having a lock on feature is quite handy, even if I don't need to use it all the time. Ugh. Come on, bitch. Let's go. Later, 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 later. Oh, that's so brutal. So brutal. Wait, I don't have my axe now. Give me back my axe. He just picks it back up randomly? Weird. Okay. The combat's pretty brutal. I like it. Wait, I can't even attack any of those guys, huh? Reach your longship. Okay, let's go. The longship is down this way, I think. Let's just fight, boys! Wait, I think I was probably meant to go through... Through the town rather than out and around the town, but... Um, it is what it is. Maybe I can go back in through here. Hello? Anybody here? Fellas? Oh, here we are. Here it is! Oh, shit! I'm actually gonna die here. Be careful. Chill, 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 chill. Come on, let's go, bitch. Odin, who? There's Dag. Here's our boy. Oh my god. Some of these attacks are brutal, man. I need some rations, by the way. Later, a bitch. I think that's everyone. We've made it to the ship, boys. Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Sail home to Fornberg. Get in, fellas. Who's coming? Open sail. Home we go. 2,800 meters, though. That's a ways away. <laughs> we need to go out and around. Let me have a look at the map real quick. I want to see how big the map is. Okay, where's home? Is that home? No, that ain't home. Oh, maybe it is, actually. No, it's way over here. Okay, that's ages away. Good lord. That's where we started the game, actually. Yeah, oh, that's a photo. Okay, that's the photo we took. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Not synchronized. We could go there, I guess. Along the way and synchronize that point. Um, Why not? 860 meters away. Uh, the open sea looks beautiful, I gotta say. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Oh, something like I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit. <laughs> I like my version better. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, what's up, boys? Anybody here? Oh, shit. My bad. Okay. Um, can I get out? I want to go get this thing. And I also need some rations and stuff like that. I'm going to leave you guys there. I'll be back, okay? You can stay there. I'll be back in a, in a hot minute. I just want to go get the sink point, just so we don't have to get it in the future, you know? I'm being generous. Trust. Alright, I need some food, though, or something. Is there no foods around here? The snow is killing everything. And I'm hoping this isn't a restricted area here. It, although it looks like it probably could be. Um, it looks like it's a town. At the very least, a, a building where there's going to be people. And I doubt the people are very friendly, somehow. But I could be wrong, you never know. Harhol. Okay. See if we can get up. Can we climb the building from the outside? Is the question I have. Or do we have to go in and climb it from somewhere inside? Ah, oh, there's actually no one here. I was expecting people 100%. Uh, there's got to be stuff in here, though. Give me food. Yes, there you go. That's what I needed. Ooh, lots of stuff, actually. See, I told you it was worth coming in here. A little bit of silver. A new chest and everything. Okay, leather, iron ores. But I need to find the way up to the top. Sufficient crafting materials to upgrade a gear piece. Oh, okay. Ooh, yes, there's a mount. 
Sick. That's awesome. Okay, you can pretty much just climb up, like, pretty steep surfaces like this as well, see, to get up here. I was looking for ways around, but you don't need ways around. You can just go up. Simple as. Here it's getting a little bit trickier now. What's happening to the music and everything? I'm getting kind of scared. Oh, yeah. We are high up right now, boys. I, I used to always do this thing in Assassin's Creed where once I got to the top, I'd press jump by accident before I could even synchronize. It was the worst in the world, man. Where are we jumping off to, though, this time? Oh, there's a water thing out there, I see. I see. Just want to synchronize, get the spot, and uh, sail home then. Take our time. Drink in the world, man. Sinking with high points will reveal the territories. Okay. Territory opportunities. I get it, I get it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit! Geronimo! <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, now where the hell's my boat? Down here. It's the way I came up, right? Is there any um, food we can store, maybe? Because we have no rations at the moment. Would be nice. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go home. Let's see if that opened up the map, though. It did indeed. Look at all these new spots and stuff like that now. Okay. What are these things here? Wealth. And what's that, then? Oh, there's a mission there and everything. Okay. Just checking it out. And that's like a city or something, I'm guessing. Stavanger? No way! That's where my uncle lives! Stavanger? That's awesome! Haha! <laughs> Dope! That means Oslo would be way over here. Um, toward, towards this way. But, uh, that's cool. Stavanger was still a thing back here, back then. But yeah, my uncle lives there. Dope! It's a really beautiful place, though. Um, I've seen some crazy pictures in Stavanger. Like, the place is just immense. Okay, let's go. Yo, boys, what's up? You still just chilling here? <laughs> Gotta love it. Let's take command. And off we go, fellas. Run up the sail. Ask for a song. Okay, let's get a song going. Neighbor, look. Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. You want to take them right now? Is that what you're saying? Small camps that are settled on the coastline can be raided with your crew. I mean, we could do that right now. Let's fucking go. Are they here? Let's raid them. <laughs> Fuck yes. Come on, pussies. What's up, boy? <laughs> you come here, boy. Whoosh. Kill, kill. Mm. Mm. Oosh. Later, bitch. Oh my god, we are murking these guys. Even with you half in the grave, we could take him. You weren't wrong, pal. You were not wrong. Bleed. Where'd all these guys come from? I swear they weren't there before. Oh, you already killed him, Doc. Okay, fair enough. I'm pretty sure they're all about to die. Like, already. We have archers in the boat and everything, just murking them. This is too easy. I feel, I feel honestly a little bit bad for these guys. Come on, pussy. You want some too, pal? Let's go. Come on, let's have you. Come on. Oh, that was a bad parry. <laughs> Yikes. I'm ready. Go. Get back to the ship. It's done? That was easy. Wait, who's trying to attack me? This guy right here? Does that mean the place is ours now, though? We have to do anything to 
Hey, come here. Come here, boy. Oh, okay. Want to go, bitch? Ugh. Gotta love it, man. Randomly just raiding this little place. Yeah. yeah. It's ours. <laughs> Fuck him, boys. We did it. I was a little easy, but we did it. Let's take what is ours. All this good stuff, why not? And we got a chest for it, too. Bone Biter. Ooh, a new axe. Okay, and our wealth goes up as well. All the primary wealth has been collected. Use Odin's sight to make sure any valuables are not left behind. It doesn't seem like it. I think we're good to go. We got the Bone Biter. We got everything we need. And um, let's check if that bone biter is better than the weapon we have, in fact. Codex, the database, what's been added? Enemies, uh, archers, okay. Okay, yeah, you gotta take out the archers first. That's just common knowledge in gaming, honestly, because the archers will just pick away at your health otherwise. Let's check out this new weapon, the bone biter. Ooh, no way, that looks way better than what we have, huh? Let me compare that to what we have right now. Okay, yeah. No, sorry, I didn't mean to upgrade it. I meant to, uh... Oh, but you can upgrade the stats, though. Like, that's way better. Speed is a lot less, but overall, I feel like it's worth having. We'll stick with the shield, I think. Oh, is this a two-hander? Oh, it's a two-hander. That's why it's slower. Okay. That makes more sense. I was wondering why it was so much better than the others. Um, but, yeah. We'll try a two-handed axe. Why not? And let's go home. I keep getting distracted. I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home, son. We're still so far from home, by the way. No reason like, to sail here. Hey, well. Let me have a look at the, the way home. We're going out this way. Yeah, there's, uh, there's open waters all the way. Sail out! Hey, will come for us now. Harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. <laughs> I do not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches. Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Fair enough. Fair enough, fella. Give us a song, lads. There was an option for a song earlier, but it doesn't seem like there is anymore. Rest in peace, the song. I wonder, will there be any more places to raid on the way home? But yeah, it does seem like it's, it's definitely taken inspiration from The Witcher in the way that it plays, the way that it looks, you know? For setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sigurd's a badass. For real. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. He attacked your fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. <laughs> oh, I think I might have came the wrong way. Is this home? No, this is home. Okay, never mind. We made it, boys! We made it. Oh, I think I need to actually... I need to park up properly. Hang on. Let me park it up properly, man. I want to, I want to do this proper. Like a viking. Let's dock oh, the thing. There we go. Speak to Ranvi. Ranvi. We made it home, brothers. We are home. Hello, sir. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For Never. Good this time. A warm welcome as always, Randri. Looks kind of like our mother. You look like red and shit. What happened? 
Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to we were just, we were just there, his courage. right? Oh, we were near there anyway. Father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned, but we killed many of Kyoto's warriors, and there was this: my father's axe among the dead. Ah, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. Okay. So, that's good. Sigurd is alive. That's his wife. And his father is in charge. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It... 17. something in me. Feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies, of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I would say he's probably around the same age as me then. Just like that axe. Twenty-six. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Okay, let's go see Gunnar. And there's Randvi. She seems cool. Randvi's love for her husband Sigurd takes the same form as most in the Raven clan. Uh, admiration from a distance. Given the number of times Sigurd has spent traveling during their arranged marriage, the two are still strangers in many ways. But Randvi is at her core a pragmatic woman who knows from her people's harsh history that there are far worse fates than an utilitarian marriage. And Dag... Dag was certain of his destiny. When the prince became king, he would be Sigurd's right hand. Hjotvi the Cruel. He is quite cruel. Some have said he was helped by secret distant allies, but those voices were quickly, quickly silenced. Hmm, okay. And then Odin, of course. The Hanged God, Shield Shaker, Greybeard, and Wanderer are just a few of the many, many names of Odin. The All Father. Having effectively created the Nine Realms out of the carcass of a dead giant, Odin feels he should be exempt from any binding fate, particularly one that ends in the jaws of a monstrous wolf. His thirst for power through knowledge is unquenchable. He sacrificed an eye for insight and hung himself on the tree. Okay, yes, this is uh, all beautiful mythology, I must say. Classic Odin. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's see. Family matters. Um... Speak to Gunnar the Blacksmith and reach Valka's hut. Okay. We can do either of those. Um, but we got new skills, I think. There's a skill tree in this game, right? Yes, there is. Okay, nodes type. Spending skill points on nodes will improve your fighting skills. Stat nodes improve base stats. Main skills unlock fighting. Equipped nodes will increase your power. The higher the power, the more prepared you are for the challenges to come. Okay. So this is range damage. This is stealth damage. And I imagine this is just straight up power. Melee damage, yes. Okay. Stealth damage could be really handy. And I'm guessing this is how we go and kill people um, without getting noticed a lot more. Where's the hidden blade, man? Okay. And up here, this is like just brutality. Melee resistance. Ability damage. I think I'll go for the stealth damage just to start off. I have four skill points, actually. Melee resistance. Boom. That's going to be handy, of course. And this one here, range damage. I don't really care too much about that. I'll go with this. We'll stick with the stealth and then the raw power for now. And we can use the uh, the range stuff a little bit more in the future. We got bow stun finishers and everything like that. And our power is now up to five. Cool. Okay, show nearby quest. Plus two skill points. Eivor, looking rough you are. Welcome home. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, bro. Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. <laughs> that doesn't count. You need silver. That counts. <laughs> it definitely counts. Hello, Eivor. Hello. How are you doing? Speak to Gunner the blacksmith. Okay, he's right up here. Perfect. 
Dog. What's up, bro? How you doing? Well, look who it is. It's me. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Alvis. Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight, right here, right now. What do you say? Okay, let's, let's try, try it. Flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal. I don't even know what flighting is, bro. Come on. Today we'll abstain. Thank you. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, with your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I'll slay. Okay, let's try that. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no, the rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Okay. Now let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll spit in your face and bash in your skull. Then I'll make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Let's try that. Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Cheers, mate. Last one. So okay. go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Okay. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! Yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for Poetry you to Poetry in motion, baby! Fighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Just mate. to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Cheers, Alvis. Charisma. Which can unlock special dialogue options in certain situations. Okay, cool. That's a little, bit, a little bit different. Chain parkour. Chain parkour. All right, here's the, here's Gunner the blacksmith. What's up, bro? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Gunner, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future... Bring your own metal ingots. I cannot watch them from empty air. I think I have a couple, actually. Already. Okay, let's see. Enhanced gear. Bringing ingots to the settlement's forge will allow Gunner to enhance armor and weapons. Doing so will unlock rune slots, increase the piece's upgrade limit, and may improve its appearance. Enhance the quality. Okay. We got a new rune slot. In increase speed. What? Wait, what did it say? Increase speed after each hit up. Up to ten times. Okay, beautiful. That works. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong. But my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks, it was. <laughs> Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? 
My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Fair enough. That's all for now. Return any time. Cheers, Gunner. The clan, the clan is happy to see Ivo return. Speak to Randvi. Alright, let's have a look. The new weapon is upgraded now and all. Varen's axe. Does look beautiful, doesn't it? Right, we gotta use that for a while. It's our father's axe, for Christ's sake. We have to. And we got a new bag? Oh, we got a new rune, okay. Can we put this on our, uh, weapon? How do I use it? Is the question. Oh, we can go into the Animus if we want as well. Interesting. Tutorials. What is new in the tutorial section, eh? Flatting. Okay. Thought as much. Is this the woman I'm looking for? Who are you? Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. <laughs> Alright, lady. <laughs> Chill out. Okay, let's uh, see about the next mission now. There's someone else we have to talk to, right? Inventory. Wait, what else is in our inventory? Ah, okay. Quest-wise, we gotta do the next main quest. Reach Valka's hut. And then we'll speak to Ranvi. Oh, that's ages away. Okay, let's talk to Ranvi first then. That's 500 meters away. Is this you, Ranvi? They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Okay, let's do that then. She said, was she, uh, is she up in the mountains or something? Have a look. Yeah, I guess so. And there's a sink point over there as well that we could probably do. But it is quite a ways away. So I'm guessing we go up through the mountains to get to her. It looks like right up there. We can summon a mount, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Where's my horsey? Horsey! Oh, Jesus! You just took the lady out! Chill out, horse! Badass, though. Let's go. I don't know if there's a way up and around here. Must be. This thing's badass, bro. That's awesome now that we have a horse as well. I love that. But yeah, I am enjoying the game so far, I gotta say. Like, uh, more than I thought I would, to be honest. It, it, and that's mainly because... It is just giving me Witcher vibes. Like, and I love The Witcher. I'm a massive Witcher fan. Um... It might even seem like a little bit too much like The Witcher, honestly. Uh, but I, I do I do like that aspect of it. Because <laughs> I, I was just a massive fan of those games. And of course, I do love Norse mythology. So all of that mixed into one. And um, it's going to be a game that I'm kind of interested in at, at the very least. I'm glad I decided to check it out, though. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it, too. You can drop a like on the video. As I said, best way to let me know that you are enjoying the content. Okay. Let's dismount. And let us talk to Valka about what's going on in our head. Free our mind. Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. 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 Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. 
I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. Frames are pretty bad. It may have been my battle lost or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen the screen tearing is kind of annoying. Unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Okay. Let's check it out now. Check it out now. The funk so brother. <laughs> Fool's freaking out a little bit. Okay. That's that same dude. Huh? I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. This isn't real, buddy. Harvey! I walk among the dead. There's the wolf. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? Sigurd, come back here! Gilfie Sigurdsson! What is this? It's fucking weird, whatever it is. Hey guys, if you do enjoy the content as well, please do subscribe if you're not already. I will be doing more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla if you guys want to see it, and I... Of course, we'll be doing loads of other games among the release of the new consoles. We'll be checking out uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. We'll be checking out Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um, all these different type of games, whatever you guys really want to see. I will, um, I will decide soon. Let us go, friends. Cut off his own fucking arm? Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Javi. Fuck, is that maybe a, a sign that Sigurd's in trouble in real life right now? 
Like he was in Stavanger, remember? I don't know, I'm kind of confused, but I think that could be it. It's a sign. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition. How did we survive that from the wolf when we were younger? I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Hmm. There's got to be a bigger reason to why we would betray Sigurd. Does he betray us before we betray him? Like, I don't know, but that doesn't really count as us betraying him then. So it's kind of confusing. Like, I don't know. There must be some bigger reason for it. There has to be something. It can't just be... You know, no reason for it. Gunnar the blacksmith has a special fondness for Ivor, having been orphaned himself but at a much younger age. The people of Helbor became his new extended family, and after Varen's death, he carried that love of community to Fornberg. Mm hmm, we have some new skill points too. What is this one? Ability damage. We don't even have any abilities yet, though, do we? <laughs> uh, melee damage. Okay, why not? Ooh, and this unlocks a whole new. Um, oh, is that the hidden blade? Yes! Yes! That's awesome. I kind of want to go this way still. But I also want to unlock more going this way. There's so much to do. And what's this one here? Light damage. Okay. I'm going to go down here. Stealth damage again, because I want to unlock these down here. So, um, we'll go with that for now. I'm going to try to become a stealthy assassin, you know? And let's get back to the king. I think they just said we could fast travel, did they? I think so. Family matters. Let's go back to that quest. The world. We can fast travel back here if we would like to. Oh, this is cool. Little, uh, this is like old school Assassin's Creed when you were in the in the um, loading menu, remember? You'd be like running through, except it was a lot brighter then. But this is cool. And you could like practice your abilities and stuff like that. Bah, bah. I remember. Yeah, it's just like it, actually. <laughs> In the new consoles, I wonder, like, with the SSD and stuff, will you even need this? Or will you just pretty much load in immediately? Well, I guess it's not built for next-generation consoles, so there'll still be loading, but it'll, it'll be a lot quicker. 
once the games are fully built for the Xbox Series X and PS5, there'll be pretty much zero loading times, you'd imagine. Okay, let's talk to Randy. The clan is happy to see Ivor has returned. What is this? Dice? Two players duel by rolling dice and invo evoking god favors. Invoking, rather. Orlok, a game of skill. Orlok. <laughs> How about a game? Sure, let's try it. Let I want to see what it's like. All, All I'm going to say... Let us begin. They can try whatever they want. It's never going to be as sick as Gwent. <laughs> Gwent and the Witcher is like the best side game in any game. I really do believe that. Okay, so... Each round is three phases. The roll phase, players roll their dice. Die phases have various effects like attack, defense, or gain tokens used to invoke god favors the god favor phase players may make a suffer or an offering to invoke a god favor the resolution phase the faces of the dice rolled by both players are resolved against each other damage is dealt or blocked okay interesting a coin flip will determine who plays first i'm gonna go tails because tails never fails see told you let's roll you can roll up the three times between each roll. You can choose which dice you want to keep and which you want to re-roll. Okay, I don't know which cards are good or anything, though. How would I possibly know? Okay. That's a block one. Deal one damage. Deal one damage. Block one. Gain one. I don't know what this is. Select dice to keep. I'll, I'll keep that. Keep that. I'll keep that. I'll keep that. And then I'll re-roll the rest. Why not? I have no idea what I'm doing, but... We'll try it. Okay. Let's just keep these. Why not? I don't know what I'm doing, so... See what he does. He's re-rolling every single one. Okay. I think we lost, guys. Oh, did we steal one of his? I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Absolutely no clue what just happened, but it is what it is. A god favor. Deal five damage. I have enough. Why not? Let's go! Oh, you just took out three of my things, man. Come on. Shit, that done so much damage. He's only, he only has four rocks left now. I think we're doing good, man. <laughs> I still don't even re know really what's happening, but we're trying our best. Let's just go damage, heavy damage this time. And we'll keep those and reroll the rest. Okay. Now, four damage coming up, but he has the same thing, so. Interesting. We're gonna throw. Oh, he's using a god favor, though. Yikes. Does that just make my card blank, or what? Boom, we won, I think. Hey! I challenge you to another round. Absolutely not, I've had enough. <laughs> that took long enough as well, like, get out of my face, bro. You got, you got wrecked, kid. I'm never playing that game again. You got destroyed. It's no Gwent, that's for sure. All right, let's go. Randvi, I'm back. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. All right, king. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. Stierbjorn. I will Stierbjorn. take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can Looks hope. like Robert Baratheon. May the... Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> He's pissed. May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. We're about to feel the wrath of the king. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, king. 
I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Why do I get the feeling something... Well, ooh, I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry, lady. I nearly killed your wife right before you come home, sir. <laughs> Imagine. The prodigal prince. Oh, two years? Jesus. Okay, Sigurd. You were gone for a hot minute then. The king. Yeah. I see where he's coming from, 100%. Uh, like, if we're outnumbered and stuff. He's just trying to be smart about it. He's trying to be smart for sure. And I get that. Let's go see the prodigal prince. Eivor and Sigurd reunited again. My boy! Here he is. Hey, hey careful with that one. Eivor! Sigurd! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker! Oh, have you been warring without me? Oh, and you... salt cured my kinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just the start. Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. Can we trust these two? I don't know, the this way the camera panned to them there. Passing south. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kyrtvis' men. They must have cut the tale short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing shown of war will dislodge Kyrtvis from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes, I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Sacred home, baby. It's good to see you, buddy. It's really good to see you. Basin, okay. 
Oh, yep. See, he's a mastermind. Okay. Definitely a mastermind. We gotta be oh so careful of him. Sigurd, it's good to see you, bro. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't think I don't think he's in the wrong or anything, the father. He's trying to do what's best. Down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Up the Ravens! Sigurd. Sko! And you, Eivor, come! I have something special for you. Randvi, it's good to see your husband or what, bro? Randvi. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight, with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah. We should all be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Is this the freak? <clears throat> Hi, Thum, is it? Yes. This and is his little you are protege. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. All right, let's talk to talk to Basim then. I kind of want to see what he has to say, just before we go and talk to Sigurd. You know? Wait, can I not talk to him while I'm sitting down there? You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. That's why he cut off his right arm in the. He sat down in dream? Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajjaf Sophia. That sounds right. 
I will not bore you with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basil. Hey, I don't trust this guy at all, but he seems pretty cool. Worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Fornberg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. Let's get fucking twisted, lads. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own... That is assassin justice. gear, huh? <laughs> In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... Hidden blade. I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they are wearing like assassin type gear. I didn't even notice that at first. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> this is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to- A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Fuck yes, dude. We got the hidden blade, baby. <laughs> so yeah, there is some assassin type uh, thing still in this game, of course. It couldn't have no assassins in an Assassin's Creed game. Nothing. What? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here. Where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Sounds good. With skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Okay, so it's a little bit different, I see. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some okay. targets are Shh. trickier Come than here. others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Okay. Only does half damage to the heavy target. Oh, you know what I might do, guys? That one down from the ledge. I was thinking, right? Um, I think there's a setting that you can have. Hey, buddy. You okay? Come here. 
You wanna say hello? Come here. Come here. Come on. Say hello, Loki. Loki has come to say hello. That's the boy, yeah? You're the best boy. You, you're looking to come into the microphone, is it? You're looking to talk into the microphone. Yeah. Huh? But yeah, what I heard is there's a setting that you can turn on to have um, the assassinations kill everyone in one shot. Which would be pretty dope, I must say. Um, we gotta get up around the other side. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, it could be a cool feature to have on, but at the same time, might be a little bit cheating, you know? Oh, I see. You wanted me to do it from below. I see. I thought you were telling me to jump down on that other guy. Well, that's not what I meant to do. I always do that. Boom! Now I can jump down on someone. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. All right. Exactly, just like that. <laughs> Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Okay. Deal. Rush. Tend to join us. Not that I am aware. Why offer him the blade? Surely we have more. Rush. Hmm. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Thanks, guys. I appreciate this gift. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. Okay, I'm ready. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Fair enough, fella. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me. Or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrte and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest and return here at first light. Prodigal Prince, quest completed. Beautiful. Nicely done, fellas. Okay. Tomorrow, we ride. We're gonna take down Kyotve. And then we're gonna go to England. Take down everyone. What the, the hell happened to our beard? You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! The hell's wrong with our face right now? fought against this fate! It can be done! You will betray Sigurd. <laughs> our beard, what the fuck? Who's that? Shit! Kjotve's warriors! Oh shit, they're here. Okay. New quest, Rude Awakening. But... I think that is where we're going to end the first part of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Like I said, if you want to see more going forward, I'm definitely down to do that. We've got to protect uh, protect our home right now and uh, maybe put on a new skill. We have two new skill points, so why the hell not? Uh, assassination damage. Let's go with that. Hell yeah.
And uh, then I'm going to go up here and do this as well. Ability damage. Beautiful. But that's where we're going to end this video. Uh, I think we have saved the game now. Is there like a manual save or what? I don't think there is. So, oh, there we go. We can go main save. Here we go. There is a save button. Create a new save game. And there you have it. And uh, we have an hour and 44 minutes played. I've been recording for about an hour and 55 minutes, but there you have it. I assume the game is relatively long, so I will be doing long videos over the course of this series, um, similar to this length. Maybe not quite this long, but uh, similar in length. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this lengthy part one to get a taste, whet your appetite for the game. And uh, as I said, I'll be switching over to the Series X version once uh, available. Thank you for all the support. Let me know if you notice a, a difference in the 4K quality. Comment down below what you think of the game. And if you'd like to see a full series going forward, it's been my distinct pleasure to serve you all. I'm loving the Norse mythology. I'm loving the style of this game so far. Um, even though I'm not usually a massive fan of Assassin's Creed being like this, like I would prefer have the old school, more linear Assassin's Creed. Um, I'm still enjoying the game for what it is. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out.